Hello! Explore desktop organization with me through the use of layouts and workspaces. Ensuring efficient work is crucial. Traders need to focus on chart activity, not window rearrangements. Hence, let me guide you in enhancing your work efficiency today. Let's start by opening a chart. I will minimize the control panel, remove the cumulative volume profile from the left side and delete the depth of market indicator. To better distinguish individual windows, I will add the watermark indicator to the chart, allowing immediate identification of your instrument and selected time frame. Next, I will right-click the chart and choose Clone Window from the chart menu. The intention is to change the time frame of the upper window to 30 minutes. When you left-click the window at the chart sign and start dragging it, a cross with five icons appears in the middle. While still dragging the window, I will move it and release the mouse button just above the central icon. This process adds the window to the bookmark, creating a list visible at the bottom of the window. In this tab, we have the S&P 500 5-minute chart and in the next tab, a 30-minute chart. I will clone this window again and change its time frame to 1 minute. By dragging the window and releasing it above the middle icon of the cross, the third tab is created. However, the order of the tabs doesn't make sense because I want them to be chronological. So I'll left-click the 5-minute tab, drag it between the 30-minute and 1-minute tabs. This arrangement places the 30-minute chart on the left, 5 minutes in the middle and 1 minute at the very right side. If I don't need the 1 minute chart, I will simply right-click its tab and select Close. I will maximize the windows and start arranging them in a slightly different way. Let's clone the 30-minute chart again and change the time frame of the new window to hourly. By dragging the window the same way as before, but dropping it above the left icon of the cross, Atas shows us what is about to happen, creating two windows side by side. You can adjust the size of the windows by dragging the blue vertical line to the right or left. Cloning the left chart and dragging the window above the upper icon of the cross creates a system with three windows. I can change the time frame of this window to H4. Just like before, you can adjust the ratio of these two windows by dragging the blue horizontal line upwards or downwards. For the last time, I will clone this window and drag and drop it above the left icon of the arrangement cross. Changing the time frame to daily creates a lineup of four different time frames visible at once. And you can display the 5 minute chart by clicking this tab. At some point, I will draw attention to a specific aspect, so let's modify the background color of this chart. What if I want to link some of the charts together so that they display the same instrument? Let's say we have S&P 500 here. I'm changing it to Nasdaq, moving the mouse to the upper right corner and clicking it Groups. For example, let's assign the yellow color to Nasdaq. Clicking at Groups of this window and selecting the yellow color changes the instrument to Nasdaq because yellow was assigned to NQ. Assigning the red group color to S&P 500 in this chart if I change the yellow group color to red in this window, my Nasdaq will change to ES. Without having to change instruments in the drop-down list in the main menu, I can link them through different colors in groups. You can use up to 10 colors to create a window system with up to 10 different instruments linked via groups. We put in a lot of effort to create this lineup. How do we save it? 
After switching to the control panel and clicking on the settings tab, I will click on layouts. This tiny settings icon brings up the layout settings window, where we can create a new layout by clicking add. Let's name it something. And as you can see, we have our first layout available. Just like with the chart windows, you can attach this layout window to the control panel by dragging and dropping it to the right icon of the cross field. We attached the layout window to the central panel so we can access different layouts easily. When you click on settings again, you'll be able to work with the layouts, delete, rename or clone them. It's basically copying a layout to a new one. So let's give it a name, L2, order flow plus profile. Now I have two identical layouts. So let's adjust this one according to the chosen name. I'm closing this window so it disappears from my window system. This is the way you can delete a window from the arrangement, simply by closing it. I'm quickly adding the volume profile to the left window and zooming in on the right chart for the order flow chart. Let's change the background of this chart again. Let me emphasize that you don't need to save the layout, it gets updated automatically. When I go back to the control panel, where we have attached the layout window, I can easily switch between my two layouts. L1 with four different timeframes and L2 with volume profile and order flow charts. See how the chart colors are maintained in the layout? That's why I altered the background color of those two charts. Imagine the layout as your desk. Everything you set up there gets saved automatically. Layouts are a very effective way to save individual settings of the indicators for instruments or filter settings. Because the value traded at SNP significantly exceeds the number of contracts at NQ, it's advisable to have more layouts for each instrument. By the way, you can switch between them easily by pressing Ctrl Alt arrows on your keyboard. There's no need to go to the control panel and switch by mouse clicking. It's worth mentioning that all global drawings are shared across all your layouts within a particular workspace. Going back to the control panel, you can click on workspaces in the settings tab and create a new workspace. Nothing is shared across different workspaces. Each is a world of its own. As you can see, you can create a new workspace Save all the changes you've done with this particular workspace, delete or rename it, copy or clone it, edit its name, or export and import it. This is also the way you can backup your entire workspace. By clicking on Add, you can save the changes we've made by creating L1 and L2 layouts. Pay attention to having checked Save Current Workspace. Let's give it a name Workspace 2 and don't forget to check Add Windows from the current workspace. If you did not check this checkbox, you would create a new, completely empty system. So, we've created a new workspace where we can switch between the two layouts we just created. In our video, we reach the end. I have two last suggestions to enhance your productivity. To move a chart with specific settings to a different layout, follow these steps. Right-click on the relevant window to access the context menu. Alternatively, you can clone the entire window first, as we've shown previously. Then, in the Layouts menu, pick the layout where you wish to relocate the window. Alright, check this out. I'm shifting the H4 chart window to layout 2. Once I hop over and shrink this linked window, there you go, the H4 chart that got moved here from layout 1. Lastly, you can pre-select the workspace you will use upon logging into the platform. This is simpler than having to switch between workspaces in the control panel. Let's summarize what we've learned today. 
you have seen how you can organize your work and save your individual settings. To recap the whole system once again, you can link windows to each other using the cross that appears every time you grab the chart by the chart label and drag it. Similarly, you can create a system of tabs in one window and easily switch between them. Layouts are used to store the window system. You can quickly switch between them using keyboard shortcuts. All drawing objects is shared between layouts and layouts are automatically saved. Workspaces, on the other hand, are separate worlds, so to speak. To save your changes, you need to go to Control Panel, Settings, Workspaces and click Save. Let us know in the comments how you prefer to organize your work. If you like the video, click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.